Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq of Oman on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Majesty the King wished Sultan Haytham abundant health and happiness and the Omani people further progress and prosperity under his leadership. His Majesty praised the deep bilateral relations and the development in both countries across various fields. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Kazakhstan, Qasem Jomar Tokayev, who informed His Majesty on the developments in Kazakhstan. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's support of Kazakhstan and its efforts to maintain its security, stability and the safety of its citizens, wishing the country and its people security and prosperity. The President of Kazakhstan commended the Kingdom's role in enhancing fraternal ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said, on the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of bilateral relations between Bahrain and Oman and the development witnessed by both countries across fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Galabiya Palace. The cabinet congratulated the National Guard on the 25th anniversary of its establishment and commended its readiness and efficiency in performing national duties, including its vital role in safeguarding Bahrain. To mark the diplomatic day held annually in Bahrain on the 14th of January, the cabinet noted the success of Bahrain's diplomatic mission over the past 50 years. The cabinet also reiterated, reiterated that Bahrain will continue to establish and nurture relations with other countries in the interest of national security and development as part of the royal directive to provide 40,000 housing units to citizens, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister directed that 2,000 additional housing units be allocated to citizens. He tasked the Ministry of Housing with distributing the housing units in question across the Kingdom's governorates by February of this year. Following a, re a review of a memorandum submitted by the Government Executive Committee on the fourth edition of Government Innovation Competition, FICRA, the Cabinet noted that the competition received an immerse, impressive number of quality entries. The Cabinet announced the benefit of the winning projects will be studied so that they can be implemented across ministries and government agencies. The Cabinet noted that the measures undertaken by authorities regarding consumer protection, the Cabinet directed that intensification of inspection campaigns to ensure the technical, organizational and procedural aspects of consumer protection laws to be implemented. The Cabinet con concluded by reviewing the latest developments in Kazakhstan. The Cabinet expressed its wishes for safety and stability for Kazakhstan and for it to maintain peace, which is in the best interest of the people's well-being and country's pros prosperity. The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting and approved the following. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on avenues of cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. The memorandum aims to progress shared objectives which benefit the Kingdom and its citizens and the adoption of a government guide in support of this. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance concerning a draft decision on private executor licensing, licensing and renewal of licenses. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding draft legislation approving the accession of Bahrain to the United Nations 
Convention on International Settlement Agreements resulting from mediation. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance reporting on the committee's work during 2021, which focused on the delivery of government program and the fiscal balance program and its priorities, which are structure, structured around seven pillars and include 31 programs. A memorandum by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs on the electronic transformation of 10 services provided to over 400,000 subscribers. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the 12 finalists of the government's innovation competition Fikra at Gudaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister stated that creativity and excellence are characteristics of Bahrain citizens and highlighted the importance of implementing plans and programs based on creative ideas to turn challenges into opportunities. He added that this approach enhances competitiveness and creates promising opportunities in line with the, with the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted Bahrain's commitment to investing in and supporting government initiatives, including FICRA, which has proven to further the quality of government services. He then honored FICRA's winners, noting that their ideas will be incorporated into the kingdom's development process, which will enhance the public sector's efficiency. For their part, the finalists expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to supporting government employees and promoting creativity and innovation across government work streams. The winners also expressed pride in winning the competition launched by His Royal Highness and their aspiration to implement their ideas that will contribute to the kingdom's comprehensive development. Following a multi-tiered evaluation process, 12 concepts qualified for the final stage of the competition. The ideas were presented to an evaluation committee comprised of several ministers and were there, to, were there the subject of a public vote. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya Abdullah Zainal, and a number of senior officials attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Speaker of the House of Representatives of Jordan's Parliament, Abdul Karim Al Dagmi, and an accompanying delegation at Gulaybiya Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness received a handwritten letter addressed to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa from King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of Bahraini Jordanian ties that continue to receive the commitment and support of both His Majesty King Hamad and His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. His Royal Highness welcomed Al Dagmi and the accompanying Jordanian delegation to Bahrain and expressed hope that their visit will contribute to strengthening parliamentary relations and cooperation between the two countries. For their part, Al Dagmi and and the accompanying delegation expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's continued support to deepening Bahraini-Jordanian relations. The, de the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya Zainal, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Parliament Affairs, Ghanim bin Fadl Al Bainain, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure with the success of two seas motorsport team led by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa in winning the title of the Gulf 12 Hours Championship held at Yas Marina Circuit in Abu Dhabi. His Highness affirmed that the successful leadership of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah of the team contributed in making outstanding achievements in various events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Isa that aimed to affirm the development of Bahraini sports, especially in motor sports, wishing, them, wishing the team continued success. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, delegated the first Deputy Presi President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to inaugurate the Burqa exhibition. The exhibition by Sheikh Khaled bin, Mah bin Mohammed Al Khalifa is a mixture of the past and the present, the Burqa to cover the eye 
size of falcons and the face mask imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed the pride in creative artwork by Sheikh Hala that highlights the kingdom's falconry heritage. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the expansion of the artistic and cultural movement in Bahrain during the reign of His Majesty the King and praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the artists who contributed to supporting the Bahraini artistic and cultural movement and wished Sheikh Hala further success. For her part, Sheikh Hala thanked His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid for their roles in preserving the national heritage and heritage sports. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited, visited Rada's Martial Arts Center within the framework of His Highness's visits to clubs and sports centers, who succeeded in creating athletes able to make achievements and raise Bahrain's status in various participations and tournaments. His Highness met with the owner of Rada's Martial Arts Center, Rada Ibrahim Munfardi, and a number of the center's members. His Highness hailed the efforts of the center in serving the sports sector and raising societal awareness on the importance of sports. His Highness Sheikh, Sheikh Khalid reviewed the programs offered by the center and its future plans, noting the role of clubs in promoting sports and healthy lifestyles. He also affirmed the importance of increasing the contributions of clubs and sports centers and enhancing the partnership with various sports authorities. For his part, the fitness center owner expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for the visit, which affirms His Highness's keenness to support clubs and sports centers. He stressed that His Highness's efforts are clear in enhancing communication and emphasizing the role of clubs as a major partner in the sector's development pro process. He pledged to His Highness to continue efforts to develop sports. The Speaker of Representatives Council Fawzia Zainal held talks with the Speaker of Jordan's House of Representatives Abdul Karim Al-Dagmi. 
Daniel emphasized the depth of strong and distinguished historical relations between Bahrain and Jordan that have cont contributed to achieving advanced levels of integrated coordination in all political, security, development, and parliamentary fields. She commended the consolidation of relations between the two brotherly countries based on the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Ibn Al Hussein. The talks covered developing parliamentary relations and joint work mechanisms, activating agreements and memoranda of understanding and exchanging views on regional and international issues and topics of shared interest. The two speakers stressed that parliamentary cooperation has become more important to face common challenges, saying that there is greater need for wider coordination of visions and positions, convergence of views and holding of more meetings through visits and all available means of communication. al Dagami stressed the depth of relations between Bahrain and Jordan and expressed pride in the coordination of visions on various regional and international issues. He emphasized Jordan's firm position in supporting the security and stability of Bahrain and the decisions it takes to protect its national unity and sovereignty. He also praised the solidarity of Bahrain's leadership, government and people with Jordan and support for the measures it takes to protect its achievements from any attempt to undermine them. The Council of Representatives and Jordan's House of Representatives have signed a Memorandum of Understanding to enhance parliamentary cooperation. The MOU signed is, is in the presence of both Council speakers, stipulates working together to enhance and strengthen and develop cooperation through parliamentary tools across various fields. The two parties will also work on exchange, exchanging delegations in order to benefit from their parliamentary experiences and activities. Under the MOU, the two sides will exchange views, views on issues on the agendas of the regional and international parliamentary organizations attended by the representatives of the two councils in order to reach a common vision on these issues. The two sides will also form joint working groups. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, received the Jordanian House of Representatives Speaker, Abdul Karim Al Dagmi, and his accompanying delegation. The chairman affirmed the deep Bahraini Jordanian relations and the development in both countries under the leadership of Their Majesties King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan. He praised the bilateral efforts in the health, education, economy, commerce, security, tourism, culture, and other important sectors. Al Saleh stressed the close parliamentary relations and the constant keenness to enhance them in a manner that forms a unified stance regarding issues discussed among regional and international parliaments. He said that the Jordanian delegation's visit opened an important dimension to exchange parliamentary expertise and review bilateral achievements at all levels. The Jordanian speaker expressed pride in the strong relations and praised the two kingdoms' progress and prosperity in various fields. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer, Assam Khalaf, paid an inspection visit to service and development projects in the Southern Governorate. At the beginning of the tour, the Minister was briefed on the developments of the sewage network project in Block 1056 in Zellag area. He stated that the project includes connecting a new sewage network to serve 292 properties in the block. Minister Khalaf also added that a contract was signed to build a park in the Zellag area. The Minister of Housing Engineer Bassam Al Hamar extended the deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion of the issuance of the Order of His Royal Highness to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units on beneficiaries. The Minister stated that the order reflects the support of His Majesty the King to the housing sector and the priority accorded to the sector by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that, his royal, that the Royal Highness's order is in addition to the series of housing achievements as part of the comprehensive development process in the Kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Al Hamar added that the housing distributions comes in line with the government's commitment to providing 25,000 housing units within the government's program, in line with Bahrain's economic vision 2030 to achieve the aspirations of citizens. The minister affirmed that the ministry will continue to harness all energies to implement the order according to schedule and facilitate procedures for beneficiaries, similar to the distribution orders that the ministry previously implemented. Upon the keenness of the Ministry of Industry, 
Commerce and Tourism and the National Bureau for Revenue and on ensuring the mechanism of the proper application of the value-added taxes and as part of the inspection and control procedures for commercial establishments in the governments of the kingdom, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue inspected 69 stores and commercial establishments in a number of vital areas. During the inspection campaigns, 55 violations were detected and administrative fines were imposed, which may reach 10,000 Bahraini dinars according to the VAT law. Other cases were considered non-compliant with the application of value-added taxes, which required the closure of one precautionary store. Accordingly, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the National Bureau for Revenue are in the process of taking legal measures against the violating establishments and referring to those who are proven to have committed a VAT evasion crime to the authorities to initiate a criminal case against them. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the National Bureau for Revenue called on establishments to adhere to the implementation of the mechanisms of the transitional phase of the VAT. For its, for its part, the National Bureau for Revenue stressed the importance of joint efforts by all concerned parties to make the various stages of implementation successful, calling on consumers, citizens and residents to submit complaints when noticing any violations or abuses of the VAT law through the com official communication channels.